Hey guys, so as you can see I've got blue contacts in to begin off with because I find putting them in afterwards my eyes just water and it just gets a bit of a hot mess so I put them in first. You guys can use whatever coloured contacts you want. I think white ones will look really really good as well but I went with blue today because I'm going to be using blue eyeshadow so I kind of want to bring that out a little bit. And when I think of the Ice Queen I kind of think of like blue really like piercing eyes so that's what I went with today. So because she's the ice queen, she's going to be really like glowy and like I just imagine like sleek, like kind of that like fake porcelain like smooth look. So I want to kind of recreate that. I'm going to use the Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Light Iridescent because I don't want anything like too bronzy or dark or anything on the skin. And I'm just applying this to the high points of my face and just blending it through. And I'm also bringing it down my body as well. Can't forget that deck of the share. Next I'm going to grab these two foundations. I'm using this Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 122 Creamy Beige. And I'm mixing it with this CoverGirl Normal Skin um, clean foundation, I guess that's what it's called, in the shade Ivory to make my skin really light and pale. Next I'm going in with this LA Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige to conceal my eyes. And to set that in place I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder and a dry beauty sponge and just going to press this under my eyes. And also set my lids in place with that as well. And then just dust away any of the excess powder. Next I'm going my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And all I'm doing is just spritzing my face. And just like helping that product to lock in place. And also get rid of any excess powder in our face. So we don't have that powdery look. And just help our base to last um, all night or all day whenever we're wearing it. I'm next grabbing this white powder foundation from BYX and I'm placing this on my forehead, under the eyes, eyelids, a bit under the jawline and down my neck to kind of give that icy feel to the look so it looks like the ice is kind of creeping over the Ice Queen's face. Make sure to keep the darkest part of the white, or the most pigmented part of the white, closest to the hairline and let it fade in towards the centre of the face. And just kind of brush it into the hairline to help it fade in more smoothly rather than having a harsh line. We kind of just fade it in towards the cheekbone, creating a contour as well. Then just wipe the brush off and just kind of blend out any harsh lines. I also go back in with my beauty blender if I need. And when fading it down your neck, just kind of start on the outer edges and just kind of blend it in towards the centre because we still want some of our skin colour showing through to kind of match our face. It's like the ice is kind of encompassing us. Next is the bar. Oh, I don't want to do browns yet. No, I'm going to do the eye. Grabbing NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm going to place this all over my eyelids from eyelid to brow bone. And then grabbing Ice Queen from Makeup Geek, such a fitting name for this look. And I'm just going to set that white in place. Next, taking a soft crease brush and some of Poolside from Makeup Geek, I'm going to start creating a little like C shape around my eye with this light blue eyeshadow. Using really soft um, windscreen wiper motions, kind of blending and fading out the edges. Very, very soft. So I'm using more pressure in the crease and under the lash line and then as I hit the outer edges these lighter motions make sure to connect the bottom and top lash line so there's no gaps 
So it's just a seamless kind of winged out C shape. Maybe a V shape. <laughs> More like a V than a C. Grabbing Pegasus on a petite crease brush, I'm just going to whack this over poolside to create a nice, really pigmented, shimmery, foiled, icy effect. And then just re-carving out the brow with a bit of Ice Queen. Because I kind of buffed up poolside a bit high. Grabbing Whimsical on my finger, I'm just going to place this on the inner corner and kind of buff it into the center of the lid. Mm -hmm. And just switching to a Morphe MB16 brush, I'm just kind of packing it on the inner corner of the lid. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous Sparkle Pig glitter. I'm going to place this on the outer part of the eye and kind of just fade it up towards the hairline to create because we're going to be placing a few like bits and pieces to kind of create the ice effect. I'm going to grab a couple of these gorgeous little holographic snowflakes and I'm just going to place these on the outer V of my eye over that glitter, just a few or a couple. Next I'm going to line my lash line with this white liquid liner from NYX. And yeah, I might even do a wing today. And with that liquid liner, I'm actually going to coat my lashes with it to create them, to make them nice and white and like kind of icy. And I make sure to coat both the top of the lash and the bottom of it so it's nice and white all around and that actually has that icy effect. And just because of a few of these like purpley um, flashbacks with the um, snowflakes, I'm going to grab some of this absolutely gorgeous duochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Key called Black Light. And it is so pretty. I'm going to add this to the very centre of my lid with my finger. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes to just give a bit of volume. Because they can be lying a little bit flat with that eyeliner. For brows, I'm going to fill them in a little bit differently today. So I'm going to actually use my white foundation powder to fill in the front of my brows. And then my usual deep brown powder from Maybelline to fill in the tail. And I make sure to just fade the two together. And then grabbing that white liquid liner again, I'm going to just feather that through my eyebrow hairs. And just kind of feather the product through the brow hairs. So most pigmented at the front. And then feather it through to about the arch to mimic the ice kind of like fading through the eyebrow hairs. Like kind of rusting over I guess. I'm brushing my hairs like upwards because I want them to stand straight. Creates that more icy effect. Before we move on to the rest of the face I'm going to just tight line and place this in my waterline. It's just a white eye coal. Next I'm going to this face and body art white face paint and I'm going to place this on my face around the perimeters. And along all the high points like my cheekbones, around the forehead and also on my neck to just create that icy look effect. So I'm doing these little jagged like strokes and things like that and bring it down my neck like there's ice coming from me just to kind of replicate that look. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Sorry guys, Just kind of, it's one of those kind of watch and see how I do it kind of things. We're just kind of placing the white paint wherever we place that white foundation powder before just mimicking the ice creeping over in taking over our body kind of thing and I'm just taking a larger brush and drawing the strokes down my neck as well so it's like creeping up just thick strokes and little strokes nothing particular like I said and I'm bringing it all the way down my chest. I like some. 
So next I'm going to actually do a bit of contouring. I should have done this before I did the face paint, but I forgot. So I'm doing it now while I remember. But we are already pretty chiseled out because we placed that white foundation powder under our cheekbones before. But I'm just going to grab this um, contour powder from Makeup Geek in the shade Breakup. And I'm going to just place this on with my NP Set blush brush, blush contour brush, to really carve out these cheekbones. And just bring it into the hairline. Oops, a bit pigmented. Oops. You girl can be a bit heavy handed sometimes. I'm creating quite a deep contour, so bringing it pretty close to the corner of my mouth. Because this ice queen is chiseled. Then grabbing that white foundation powder again to help blend in that product a little bit. I'm just going to place it underneath that contour and above just to help it blend in a little bit more. And there we are. We are north in chis and babe. And I think I might contour my nose a little bit because ice queens have really thin, petite noses. Bring it up pretty high to my brow bone to really sink those eyes in to really... And then just blend it out. And then, just because I think it looks pretty cool, I'm going to use Pegasus and just further contour that and feather it through my brows a bit too. Then going in with some of this Duochrome pigment. It's just got a gorgeous kind of like bluey, purpley reflect. I'm going to place this on the high points of my face, just kind of over the icicle look. And I even might place this in my inner corner as well. And it gives it that really like icy look. Cause it just you know, that smooth, reflective, icy look. Like it just looks like that. I might even just dust some down my neck as well. My decolleté. And center of the lip. For the final touches, I've got these little menthol crystals and I'm gonna place them on my face just here and there just where I feel like it will create a really cool icy look and I'm placing them on with some lash glue all that's left is to put your wig and crown on I created my own crown I just used little, um, the jemmy ice school looking things I found on eBay and just stuck it onto a headband but you guys can like, get a crown off um, the internet or make your own whatever you want to do um, but this concludes today's look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's free and you get to keep up to date with all my latest tutorials. And I'll be making sure to post many more Halloween tutorials before this month is up. So I'm super excited about that. Otherwise, have an amazing day, my loves. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Mwah! Bye, guys.